What's up guys, it's Pia here, and today I'll be showing you some Mirage mid control variations that professional teams are using. But before we proceed with the video, let's hear it from today's sponsor. If you play Counter Strike, you need to train with GG Predict. It's the most complete platform for effective and fast training. GG Predict is basically a personalized training system that adjusts training units to boost your development and help you reach your esports goals. How does it work? Customized training units are generated daily thanks to GG Predict's powerful analysis of your game and stats. And all of the training can be done on dedicated maps and servers. Start seeing significant progress after just a few days of training. Our 20-minute trainings stimulate not only your aiming, but all aspects of the game. Invite your friends, train together, compare, or just warm up before your matchmaking games. The best of our players have improved their game by as much as 478%. What are you waiting for? It's free, it's fun, it's GG Predict, baby. Okay, so for the first variation, we will be looking at Navi's anti-eco in round 4. They had Perfecto throw the instant window smoke before defaulting to B. Bit with his top spawn, banks the flash for lower mid which blinds the possible connector key. He then paths towards lower mid and clears the angles of top connector before walking up. Notice how he scales on the right side of connector. This is to limit his visibility from catwalk while he pushes up. This is a good habit even if your teammate is watching catwalk. From Simple's perspective, he first throws a flash off the top mid cart which doesn't blind his team but it flashes anyone aggressing. To add to this, Perfecto also throws a deeper mid flash which can blind the catwalk or window player. After these set flashes, Simple and Boomich preemptively HE the bottom con. As Simple runs up catwalk, he resmokes window. So with this smoke blooming, the three Navi players don't waste any time and begin fighting for both connector and ladder room control. As Bit is walking up connector, Simple on the other hand is on catwalk and is posting on the right side top connector for any aggressive peaks. Boomich is not far behind but he focuses on catwalk first by throwing a molly for bricks. Simple doesn't immediately focus on B-Short because Boomich just mollied in case of any aggression. As Bit reaches the top end of connector with Boomich in lower con, Simple now starts clearing the ladder room position. In this round, Bit dies to Shush from stairs but Boomich is close enough to get the trade. As a response to this connector pressure, Tessus from underpass and Kadian from short work together to kill Boomich. But since Simple had ladder room control, he was able to catch Kadian easily. So to put things into perspective, Navi's 131 mid default had a relatively quick tempo which had them throw early utility to catch the common spots and plays for CTs. Simple would work his way towards Cat but also help his teammates get up connector. Boomich will help refrag Bit but also support Simple by mollying Catwalk for him. In this next example, we'll go over a different mid control variation as shown by Gambit. They would typically send 1A, 1 top mid, then 3B. But in round 9, Gambit sends 4B and leaves the A extremity open. Using a window smoke, a con molly, and the mid flash from Hobbit, Nafani crosses to top mid card. Phase Clan responds to the mid pressure by throwing counter utility such as the lower connector smoke and the cart molly. Nafani then starts spamming the con smoke in case anyone tried pushing up or playing inside the smoke. After this, he waits for the bottom con smoke to fade out before resmoking window. With this, he starts walking up catwalk with the help of Hobbit's top connector smoke and grenade for B short. While this is happening, Hobbit is on the other side getting connector control. With connector and catwalk control secured, Gambit pushes on with a B split. From Hobbit's point of view, he helps Nafani get out top mid with a flash before going into back alley. With Axel's flash, Hobbit fully clears underpass then starts walking to bottom mid. He smokes top con which does two things. Nafini can now cross to B short more safely and Hobbit can now clear inside con while denying vision from A or jungle. The third POV would be for Axel. He defaults towards back alley and he throws a preemptive HE for underpass. This grenade explodes at the same time as the best CT spawn peaks underpass. 
Axel holds for a bit before flashing for Hobbit and Underpass. After that, he serves as Hobbit's refrag before regrouping back into apartments. So to recap this variation, Gambit smokes window early before sending one player out top mid to show presence and bait out any utility. Nafani would resmoke window after a bottom connector smoke starts fading away. While that's happening, Hobbit and Axel would clear out underpass before smoking top connector. Nafani would then take ladder control while Hobbit clears out connector. You will also see Navi run a similar mid default but with slight variations. Using a top mid smoke and flashes for con and window, Boomich would cross to the water position. You might be wondering why he doesn't stay behind the mid card instead. The reason is that this spot helps him avoid the common counter utility thrown by the CTs. If Boomich instead hides behind cart, he can easily get mollied out of position or need stack like Hedrick in this situation. Playing behind water also lets Boomich dodge the counter flashes and hold for any top mid aggression. If a CT is pushed up top mid, he will generally look towards the left side which gives Boomich a free kill. So while Boomich defaults top mid, Bit goes underpass to mid with the help of Perfecto. Boomich starts moving onto chair but gets caught off guard by Stown's aggression. Bit knows that there is a timing in which Stown is out in the open. He successfully refrags but gets immediately traded by Refresh and Shush dropping down. Since there is a second underpass player in Perfecto, he trades Bit's death. Refresh is then left as the last mid player which does not last long because Simple already anticipated his next move. Okay moving on, the third variation that the pros use would be a 1A, 2 top mid, and 2B setup. For this example, we'll be looking at FaZe Clan's round 22 against Furia. Rain is the first to go out top mid, he throws 2 flashes and the window molly. Shortly after this utility set, Rain jumps out of the top mid smoke and he catches Art making a play towards underpass. After getting this opening kill, FaZe decides to freeze and wait out the counter utility. While Rain and Brokey held for any aggression, Twist's fully cleared underpass and is now ready to throw utility for connector. So Rain goes on to smoke window before working his way towards ladder room. At the same time, Twist smokes top connector, mollies the cubby, and begins pushing for connector control. Brokey is the second top mid player in this situation. While Rain does his thing, Brokey spams the common connector angle and also tries to spot above the one-way smoke. After Rain's opening kill, Brokey then spams the B-short smoke before retrieving the bomb. As Rain goes to clear the ladder room, Brokey supports him by throwing the bricks molly which helps Rain focus on ladder and worry less about a possible swing from bricks. In the second round of overtime, FaZe does another 1-2-2 mid control but with a slight variation. They use a window and top mid smoke but opt for a slower tempo. Rain holds cart instead of going fast mid. Twists also pushes underpass slowly. At this point, FaZe wants to play it slow and wait out the counter smokes before they push for more map control. Freya throws another connector smoke and in response, Twist smokes top on anyway and also mollies the cubby. Brokey on the other hand, re-smokes window. After this, Rain and Brokey begin moving towards B-short to clear ladder while leaving Twists to get connector control. Brokey mollies the ladder room and flashes B-short for Rain. So with this, Freeze is able to get ladder room through Rain and Brokey and connector control from Twists. So those are just some of the mid control variations that professional teams use nowadays. Use them situationally to keep your default adaptive and difficult to predict. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned from this video. If you do, please like and subscribe to help out this channel. Once again, thanks to Nart out here and GG Predict for making this video possible. I'll see you guys in the next one. I, I'm a head up.